So guys, what do you want to do today? You guys want to watch Impractical Jokers? What's Impractical Jokers? You've never seen Impractical Jokers? No, what is it? It's a show where you see scenes of graphic stupidity among three lifelong friends who compete to embarrass each other. That sounds silly. Impractically silly. We should watch it! Yeah, let's watch it! Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're at Red Lobster and we're going to be pranking some unsuspecting customers. If you refuse to do the challenge, you're eliminated! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Red Lobster. What can I get you to eat? Uh, I don't know. Hey Tito, before he orders, you should blow a bicycle horn in his face. <laughs> in his face. <laughs> How about a... Uh, I want to order it. Ah, he's doing it! <laughs> keep going! Tito, keep going! 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 Keep Forget it. I, I might as well try it. Yeah. Who don't like chicken? <laughs> All right, Tito. Now call him the N word. Do it. I never back down from the challenge. Man, I never lose. You killed it. All right, man. Good turn. You got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> Hey, thank you for choosing Red Lobster. What can I get you guys to eat? <laughs> Give him a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, punch him in the face! Maybe a knuckle sandwich. Ah! <laughs> he did it! He punched him! <laughs> Do it again! He hit him! Do it again! Ow! You just punched me in the face! Sorry about that. What are your specials? I just gave him one. A knuckle sandwich. Any other specials? <laughs> Those guys look pretty gay. Yeah, yeah, tell them gay pride was in June. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> We don't have any specials for you because gay pride month was in June. <laughs> yeah! Oh, he did it! He did it! <laughs> <laughs> you did it, man, you did it! <laughs> Your turn, Murr. Okay, but you guys better not make me do anything stupid. Get in there, Let's go! go! Hey there, welcome to Red Lobster. What can I get you two to eat? What would you recommend? Remember, tell them that you would recommend the fish, but they already smell like fish. Like <laughs> vagina! <laughs> well, uh, I, um, <laughs> I'd recommend the fish, but it, uh, it already smells like that over here. <laughs> Pull out a magnifying glass and look at their boobs and ask them what size they are. Yeah, do it! He's not gonna do it! He's not gonna do it! Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> what size are those? What are those B cups? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> So it looks like you're the biggest loser. <laughs> Let's go to your punishment. <laughs> That's one thumbs down for Murr. That means Murr's today's biggest loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here today for Murr's big punishment. And we are in someone's front yard. And we see a pile of dog <laughs> Now, Murr, what do you think we want you to do with that dog <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> No! You wish! You no, wish! I want you to lick it! What? You're gonna lick that dog. I'm not licking that! Come on, Mur, if you don't, you will get kicked out of the show! Just yeah. like Joe. You don't wanna be like Joe, right? No. What about your wife and kids? I do need the money. <laughs> no! 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 I lick dog shit all the time! Ow. 
You know what would be funny, guys? What if we pull pranks on people like they do? But I don't want to get in trouble. They don't get in trouble. Well, they're adults with a full production crew. That might even be fake. Well, what if we prank Chef Pee Pee so we don't get in trouble? Because he's not a stranger. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, so how about we all pull a prank on Chef Pee Pee, and whoever refuses to do the prank is the biggest loser. Okay. All right, so who wants to go first? Oh, I want to go first. Okay, what type of prank should Jeffy do on Chef Pee Pee? Ooh, ooh, you should put this fake dog shit in whatever he's cooking. <gasps> That'd be so funny because Chef Pee Pee would be like, ew, there's poop in my food. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do it. All right. Wait, you, you forgot the fake dog shit. Mm -mm -mm, cooking some fried chicken. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, wait, I forgot the seasoning. Big dog shit is still right here. Oh, I shit for real. All right, who the hell did it? Tell me who did it. Who shit on my chicken? Uh, not me. Uh, not me. I know what are you press a freaking line. Somebody shit on my chicken. I was gonna eat that delicious ass chicken. Uh, no one, no one shit on your chicken. No, yeah. Oh, low. Wait, wait. Cody, tell me something. Yeah, sure, anything, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I need to know something. Yeah. Why is there a fake shit right by your foot? Oh, that that's a fake shit. You're, you're talking about a real shit, right? Yeah, real poopy, stinky ass shit. Yeah, well, all I have is fake shit. Yeah, all we have is fake shit up here. We don't want no one real shit up yeah. here. Oh, I swear to God, I know you Bretts are lying, and if I find out one of you did it, I'm gonna shove my fist so far up your ass. Oh, I swear to God. Now, guys, maybe I should take the fall for this. But, Cody, you didn't do it. But I think he already suspects me. I mean, the poop is right next to my foot, so I think maybe I should just own up to it. No, no, no. He doesn't know any of us did it. I think we should just leave him alone. Okay, but I think I should do the next prank. But I, not on Chef Pee-Pee, right? Yeah, no, on Chef Pee-Pee. I'm going to do the next prank. Why? Because uh, I think I should be the one to do it. Just, I have an idea. What? Oh my god, I can't believe I have to start over and make a whole new chicken! Hey there, Chef Pee Pee, you look stressed out. Why don't you sit down and take a load off? Oh, Cody, I'm not falling for that trick. That's the oldest trick in the book. I'm not in preschool. What trick? This is just a harmless cushion. That is a whoopee cushion. I'm not falling for your stupid pranks, Cody. Get out of my kitchen. Okay, but I did try to prank you, so you're gonna punish me, right? Is the fisting still an option? Get out of my kitchen! I'm trying to cook some damn chicken, Cody! Okay, fine. I didn't want you to fist my ass anyway. It's weird. It's weird you're mentioning it. Well, guys, my prank didn't work. I got caught. How'd you get caught? Well, I tried to use a whoopee cushion, but it was bright green. It's pretty hard to hide. So what did Chef Pee do when he caught you? Well, he didn't put his fist up my ass, I'll tell you that. Well, I'm gonna try to prank Chef Pee next. What's the point? He's not gonna put his fist up your ass. I have the best prank idea ever! I'm gonna put rat poison in Chef Pee food! What the f***, Junior? That's gonna kill him! No, it's not. It's only made for rats. It would kill anybody who eats it. Then why isn't it called anybody poison? Well, because it's designed for killing rats. Exactly. It'll only kill rats, not humans. Junior, it says right there on the bottle, danger do not consume. That's for the rats. It's for the f***ing rats? They put it on the bottle for the rats to read it? Rats can't read, Junior. The rat and Ratatouille can read. Junior, how many times do I have to explain to you that cartoons aren't real life? Cody, listen. They make specific poisons for specific animals. Like, this is made for rats. Rat poison. They also have mosquito poison, they have bug spray for spiders and wasps. This is only made for rats, it won't kill a human. Junior, poison is poison, it would kill anybody. Then why doesn't it just say poison? Why does it specifically say rat poison? It should just say poison then. Because this is for rats, but it says for rats, thank you. So if I give it to Chef Pee, Pee he won't die. No, he's still gonna die. So you're calling Chef Pee, Pee a rat? What? No, I didn't say that, I'm just explaining how the poison works. So you're saying if Chef Pee, Pee eats it, he's gonna die, so this kills rats, so you're gonna it kill- It would kill anybody. Oh, so you're calling all humans rats? What? No, no. What are you, Hitler? What? Hitler didn't think people were rats. So now you're defending Hitler. I'm not defending Hitler. I'm just explaining how poison works. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on Chef Pee's food. It's not gonna kill him. Okay, fine. Tell me how that goes. Oh, this chicken look damn good. As long as nobody shits on it, it'll be perfectly fine. What? Well, wait, where's that damn seasoning? It was right here. Oh my god. Oh man, just need a little bit. Add a little salt to it. You know what I'm saying? And I just take a little bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pranked! Shape Pranked! What happened, Junior? He died? Oh, I get what you did. You called Chef Pee, Pee when I was walking downstairs and told him to act like he was dying when he ate the rat poison to teach me a lesson. Oh, I called him, huh? Well, here's my phone. You can check my call history. I didn't call him. You probably deleted the calls. No, just didn't call him. Well, who would have thought that rat poison would kill a human? Me. Me. I did when I told you that would happen. Okay, well, this company has to be in trouble because no way do they say for humans not to eat it. It says right there, danger do not consume.
That's for the rats. That's that's for the rats. They put it there for the rats to eat. Why would they warn the rats you were trying to kill them? To give them a fair chance or a fair fight? No, Junior. They put it there so people who can read would know not to eat it because they die. Oh, so if you don't know how to read, this won't kill you. It only kills people who know how to read. No, they put it there so people who can read know that they would die if they eat it or feed it to someone else. So if I don't know how to read, how do I know this would kill me? It, because there's a little symbol right there of a rat dying. Yeah, but I would only assume rats would die, not me. Junior... I think they just assume people weren't stupid enough to try to eat it. Well, I think they need to repackage this because it looks extremely close to Miralax. That it does. I will give you that. Okay, so what do we do now? Like, what happens now? What's our plan? I don't know. I might call the police. Why? Why? Because you murdered Jeff Peepee. No, he could have died of old age. Old age? Or maybe it's the rat poison in his system. Yeah, and then you know what happened? The cops are going to assume that he didn't know that it would only kill rats. They, no, they're not going to assume that. They're going to assume that everybody knows that rat poison kills people. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to tell them that I'm an impractical joker. Oh, okay, maybe that'll hold up in court, an impractical joker. It was very impractical, Junior, I'll give you that. It was a very impractical joke, if you can even call it a joke. I call it murder. Well, I'm just going to... I don't know what to do. Jeffy, just push the U2's ad. Oh. Hey, guys, check it out. There's a Jeffy U2's, and you can get one down in the link in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out and get them, because you're pretty cool. It's me going, yay, right here on the red couch. All right, kid, you're coming with me for the murder of Chef Pee-Pee. Wait, you called the cops, Cody? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you bitch!